Hi guys, my name is Philip. I'm the person behind Philip's origami instructions. This is a tutorial on how to make an origami goldfish. As you can see, there are two different types, both the same level, uh, difficulty level. Uh, they're quite easy to make. They look pretty cool, but they do both involve scissors. So if you don't want to use scissors because you think it's cheating, then do not watch this t tutorial. So let's get started. You will need two sheets of paper. Or you could just make one if you want. And you, I'm using 15 by 15 centimeters. We're going to start off by making this one first. Sorry. So white side up, and you just want to fold the diagonal in half, just one way. And we're going to actually start off here by making a samurai helmet. So if you want to skip to that, um, there's a tutorial. It'll be down the bottom here somewhere. Click clickable link to my origami samurai helmet tutorial, or you could just watch it now if you want. Uh, and then you want to fold both of these flaps down to the bottom to make sure the flappy bits at the bottom. And then make sure these bits are still at the bottom. And then you want to take them and you just want to fold them up to the top there. And just create a crease going along. Here, dividing it into half. Do the same with that side. And then we want to open it up and make the ears of the samurai helmet if you like. Oh, actually, they're going to make the ears of the goldfish as well. Uh, so just fold them out. Um, it's up to you how much you want to fold them, but I recommend they're straight. Because it looks better if they're like straight. Just try and imagine that. And try to get this one the same as well. So get straight. Make your crease. And then just take this bit here and fold it up to not quite the top. You want to leave about a centimetre or so. So you have a little gap space in between there. And then make your crease. Make sure this bit lines up with the middle there. And then you can take this bit bottom bit here just the first layer and fold it over on top of this and line it up with the two sides here and then you want to just turn it over and then fold this bit up which is actually falling in half and then you have your samurai helmet now for the first one you want to just you want to make two of them or just make one for now if you only want to make one and you want to mount and fold it in half so you're folding it in half behind you and now here's the scissors part. So we want to actually cut along there. We want to try and get it um, sort of parallel with that at that angle. So just cut along there, starting from the end of the maybe a little bit off. And then just make your cut along there. And then we want to make another cut around here. So do you how much how what angle you want to do this? I'm just going to do it. Straight going along here, and like those bits away. And then you want to open it up to what makes a samurai helmet, but obviously it's not because you've cut into it. And it should not look like this. Oops. And you want to turn it over so that is that this facing this way round. And you want to make a crease starting from there, this bottom bit. And maybe line it up with at the end of the goldfish's ears there. So just line it up against there. And then make your crease. And then we want to open it up like this. And we want to pull out on this bit, but be careful not to rip it. And you just want to fold backwards. You want the valley fold backwards into those creases. And then just push it down like that. And then you have your finished goldfish number one. Now if you want to, you could actually draw some ears and a mouth on it. I think it looks quite cool with that. And like I said, the other one, I actually personally prefer this one. Because of it looks quite a lot better. But they're both the same, easy to make. So for the second one now, I've already prepared a samurai helmet. So for this one, this is this one now. And we want to open it up to the samurai helmet. A bit like this. And we want to turn it around to the part that we get along here. Hold on a minute. 
Prends la main, on va faire une fois. Sorry about this, guys. But yeah, um, so we're gonna actually make a crease going along there, both of these sides here. Sorry, oh, they're gonna make a crease going along these two here. I'm really sorry for that confusion that sometimes happens in my tutorials. So look at it this way round, and we're going to cut in between there. Sorry, I just couldn't find out where to cut. I just completely lost my mind there. So just put your scissors in here, and then just for a minute, and then just cut straight along that line up the top. Now maybe open it up here if you want to. That may make it a little bit easier. So just cut. You don't want to cut all the way to the end, by the way. You want to leave about centimeter and a half or so. It's up to you. Well, that's went a little bit off. Oh, well, that's fine. Let's make sure I go off a little bit off on this side as well. Try to leave the same amount on both sides. Like that. And now, once we've done with that, we, that is our only cutting for this one. And we want to take, look at it, so the cut's there and the ear's pointing this way. And we want to take this side bit here and fold it up to maybe there, if you like. And make a good crease and just try to get thick at this point, so just be careful. And now, like we did on the other one, we just want to open this part up here and fold it along that, um, it should be equilateral triangle, I think. And just open it up and then fold along there. Now mine's come to this and it's a little bit off because I cut it wrong. Or well, cut it in the right place but I've got it a little bit off. So if that happens just cut it a little bit off. And that's our finished goldfish number two. Now I prefer that one. I've already said it looks a little bit nicer. Uh, but they both look nice, honestly. <laughs> so like I said, if you think that scissors are cheating then obviously don't use them. I don't think that personally, but I know other people do out there. And that's our finishing tool for today. Now, you can, if you want to, put it on a display, maybe at school, if you're learning about fishes. I don't know, you might want to put it on a goldfish display. might quite look quite nice to decorate it, maybe in a scrapbook or something. And um, that's it for today. I'm really sorry about that confusion earlier, guys. That sometimes happens. No idea why. But, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks again always so much for watching. And oh, also, guys, you can, sorry about that, you can actually make this sort of 3D by standing up like that. And it looks quite cool like that. And um, thanks again always so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.